crawfish at Too Faye for the first time. Da -da. No, nobody cares. But it's gonna come out great because we're great cooks. We are great cooks. So we have all our stuff here. It's kind of hectic in the kitchen right now because we haven't really been here for a couple of days. So it's kind of, hey Stinky, it's kind of just stuff all over the place. Um, the recipe that we're doing is crawfish at Too Faye. I know a lot of people may use like tomato paste or tomato sauce or maybe cream mushroom but we're doing just like a butter based sauce with fresh seasonings we're gonna see how it goes we're super excited and yeah, we're frying fish we have a really solid recipe i think and we're gonna add our own little twist on it like we always do but of course um on this edition this is still bobbing on the budget even though those crawfish tails is goddamn twenty dollars for two packs in itself that shit is a scam for real don't make crawfish way too fat on the regular. That shit is expensive. Okay, so this is kind of already gone because we... Shout out to me for that. We drank it last night. But what's the one that you guys... She so, got this one. I picked this one. Obviously, even though it's so basic to say, Moscato is like the universal line of basic bitches everywhere. So I went with something simple and easy. It just said Fruity Moscato. It was definitely $5.99. That's what drew me to it. Screw top, you know, the cheap shit. So. <laughs> Don't try to ride that screw top wave now because just last episode you were saying that you were with that shit. I'm All still right. not with that shit. But this is mine. On the budget, then I guess. This is mine. And I feel like I balled out with this one because it was $7.99. But Ooh. I definitely tried this before. She didn't try it. Broke the bank with that one. This, I drank this first when I was transitioning from alcohol to wine. Because I was seeing these memes on Facebooks and Instagram and people like commenting and stuff saying that this gets you trash. So I'm like, okay, the closest thing to the alcohol content that I'm looking for is probably going to be this. So I tried it. It actually tastes good. I think you'll like it. Cause so which one is better? You've had the red and the white. Which one is better? You know I prefer red or dark anything or white. Even though, well, no, I don't like red wine. But the red is better than the white. <laughs> what did I say? You prefer dark anything? I look dark to you? I know you got these black ass kids, but damn. I thought we were, I thought, I really thought we was talking about wines and alcohol. Oh, okay. Alright, go ahead. Alright, uh, back to this etouffee that we got <laughs> going on. This is yours because obviously you need it. You seem a little uptight, what you got going on. You're called into work and everything. You stuff hey, everything. Don't, tell the, don't tell the people. She's what supposed to be at work right what now. What if my coworkers are someone watching this? <laughs> well, they, well, well I technically have. you did. Never mind. Okay. Just not, not so much putting my business out. I'm sorry. Shout mother. out to Miss Ola for these wonderful expensive glasses. She always buys the nice shit. Um, I don't like stemless glasses, but these are really nice. Nah, and shout out to me for stealing Where did your glasses somewhere. come from? Where did your glasses come from? I stole this from somewhere. <laughs> Somebody's restaurant or casino, undoubtedly. Let me tell you something. I got a collection, <laughs> and I call it my collection of yet, yet glasses. What about the $100 yet So glasses? this is, I don't remember where this from. They Copeland's from, maybe? That came from, no, not Copeland. But, uh, was this it was the one we stole from uh, Red Robin? No, we tried to steal one from Red Robin, oh, yeah, but, but it was we unsuccessful because their bags are clear yeah. and their to-go boxes. And their to-go boxes are clear. This, this is the hundred dollar yak glass from Vegas. From Las Vegas when we went for her birthday two years ago, and we was trying to go to a strip club. She wanted to go to a strip club because I'm always so trying to see ass. Bad, and I'm like, bruh. These hoses hit. You don't want to go to the strip club here. She wanted to go to the strip club. So guess she what? didn't tell no lies. Them we went and it was $50 up. a pop. 
hundred dollars to get in. A hundred dollars for us to get in, and we went in, and it looked like a snuff fest. That shit was so creepy and weird. It was just like it, it seemed flabby like, ass white girls grinding on seventy year old white. Men. It's two o'clock in the morning on a Saturday <laughs> night. Look like niggas just leaving the office and going to some beat up trailer park, casino, gas station, got dog on. That Pump shit. Stop. That. <laughs> Strip club, like that was, it was just weird, man. So I said, at least I gotta get a drink. We ain't come here and spend all this money. How for much was that Hennessy? Was it, wasn't it 35 bucks uh, or something like that? It was like, like 25 that? to 30 bucks that you spent. For this, and didn't even fill it, it was filled up to like right here. So I said, you know what? I'm taking this. This is coming home with me. <laughs> you can bet that. So I got that one. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I can't remember where I got this one from. I think this. I they just came got from this a from. hotel. No, LaVerge. This came from. It probably came from um in Lake Charles. What's that place? Uh, the LaVerge in Lake Charles. This came from. They came from. I had this. I think I had like no. an apple martini in this or something. You no. were at a casino. No, no, no. I, you know what? We don't know where we're getting them from. But we definitely. You know this came from somebody bar, probably Pluckers or Buffalo Wild Wings probably or Pluckers. something. I think that came from Pluckers. You know, this this definitely came from the Verge. <laughs> no, this came from, uh, came from the, the, the Mirage. No, the Beau Revage. Oh, yeah. This came from the Beau Revage. This Belushi. came from the Beau Revage. Yo. I'm trifling, okay? As for <laughs> I'm trifling. If you have nice glasses at your house, don't invite us over and serve us a drink out of it. Woohoo! I forgot take what that tastes like. Let me take it. Ooh, ooh. I don't like the color. It looks like Hennessy or Paul. I feel like she's trying to slip one over on me. Oh my gosh. It's Taste very it. dark. Taste it. Or sangria. That shit tastes like beer. Stop I'm lying. Good. Stop I'm lying good. to the viewers. All right, come on, let's get going with this little recipe because I'm starving. I don't know about you. You okay? Woo! All right, you you the recipe person, so. Y'all don't talk about our hookah, okay? We have a much nicer hookah. This is our struggle hookah. It's right there in the corner. Maybe I'll show it to y'all later, but. But shout out to Josh for breaking the damn bowl. So, yeah. All right, so while okay. I get the recipe, you're going to start preparing the stuff. And I got a topic for us to talk about. All right. So, I always hear a lot of people talking about this, and honestly, I don't feel like there's a handbook to this shit or a right and a wrong. But I do want to know what you think about how soon or not soon a couple or two people should have sex. Like, how soon into the relationship or how soon into dating should they have sex? Tell me what you think about this. That's a good question. I don't think there's a handbook because everybody's maturity levels is set differently. Everybody's mental capacity and the way that they process certain situations is different. I just, I don't think there is no set time frame. I don't think you should just be jumping into bed with anybody. That's number one. I don't care how, so how long should you know someone? I'm a different type of person though. I got to know somebody. Like, really, really know somebody. Okay, so just to get a general idea, how, what's the soonest that you've ever had sex with someone, or the quickest that you've ever had sex with someone in terms of how long you knew them, mm -hmm. or the longest you waited when you knew somebody? It wasn't waiting per se, it's just. But you that, waited. If you didn't have sex with them, that's waiting. Whether you intended to. But I was about to say, it wasn't purposely waiting. That's what I'm saying. Whether the quickest I've had sex not. with somebody is maybe hanging out with them a couple of times. I've never had a one so night stand. So maybe like a third date or something? I wouldn't even call it a date. We ain't even got to do nothing. If, but it dep also depends on what we agreed upon. Whether it's spoken or unspoken. If I know that we just talking, then it's not going to be much waiting. It's not going to be much waiting. Okay, what if it's somebody, <laughs> that, okay, what if it's somebody that you see a relationship with? Then we're going to wait. Like Okay, but wait a minute. I'm about to blow you down because what I'm about to say is you say if you see a relationship with somebody, you gonna wait. Why the fuck you ain't waiting for me? You wanted to you was trying to rape me on some shit. 
But we didn't mean to each other. That's gotta count for something. This is what I'm saying. I've never not had sex with anybody that I didn't know for a while. I, I can actually recall one person that I met and had sex with them in a small amount of time. It was maybe, but the, even that was like a couple of weeks So did you end up in a relationship month. with that person? No. Actually, that person thought I was in a relationship with them, but I really wasn't. You know what? That's neither here nor there. I really wasn't. That's and they swore up and down. <laughs> it was weird. It was a weird situation, but I'm just saying. It's... You have to accept the fact that the same thing you said last time, which is any time that you are involved with somebody sexually, you are tying yourself to them in a way in which you can't take back. Right. You I share agree. yourself in a way that you can never unshare yourself with again. It's almost I absolutely like agree. you send that new picture. And you can never get you that back, no, no matter how, you know, how malicious that person choose to use that picture against you. You can't take it back. So, people is just out here, I agree, you should be able to do whatever you want with your body. It's but your remember, body. you can't unfuck somebody. You can't. Once you fuck them, that's it. You can't. That's it. But you do have a right to do what you wish with your body. I period. mean, I do agree with the whole... Thing, the whole Amber Rose movement, which is you should be able to do with your body what you please. The and, yeah, I agree with that because I feel like guys do it all the time and guys are praised for it. They're the man if they one night women or if they sleep with X amount of women, but then the tables turn and then if a woman sleeps with X amount of men or if you're a lesbian you sleep with X amount of other women or you one night somebody then you're a whole, you're a slut. And I don't think that's fair. You should be able to do what you want to do. Now, given. Keep in mind, bitch, that them, their body count does not reset. So, slow down a bit. But, I mean, do what you want. No, but some people do need to be told to slow down. And just because, just because you choose to be a hoe don't mean that you should be one. You know what I'm saying? And just because you choose to have sex with somebody when you choose to have sex with them, don't make you a hoe neither. It's just all about, uh, I don't... What does it really boil down to? So I think that the, the point that I was trying to get to asking this question is that I feel like there is no handbook to this because I feel like you can wait to have sex with someone until you marry them and the marriage fall apart and not work. Or you could one night somebody and they could be the person that you spend the rest of your life with. So I don't think there's a handbook to the shit or any type of method. I think you just do what you want. People do what works for your situation. I was about to say, people asking that question to me, it just kind of <laughs> seems like they they want somebody to tell them how to think. Like, think for yourself. Use your own discretion and decide, should I be sexually involved in myself with this person at this time? You see what I'm saying? Okay. Like, you have to be the one to do that. I can't tell you that. That's why people love recipes so much because they don't have to think of how to do the shit they sell. But you gotta add your own special taste to it. You gotta like think for yourself, dude. Nobody knows this person like you do. But do you feel, but be honest about this too. Do you also feel some type of way if you was with somebody who has had a lot of one night stands and who hasn't really been a uh, hundred percent like committer into getting to know people before involving themselves with them sexually? And see, I try not to be judgmental and say that I don't, but I do. Because it's like this. Mm. It depends on how, how high your body count actually is and in what manner. Because I've been around people or associated with people and they're like, oh, you know, I've had sex with X amount of people. And I'm like, whoa. Not gonna be number 58. Alright, I'm, I'm the same way. Not gonna way. be number 100. I'm, I'm the sorry. same way. So it's not that I'm judging because I know everybody has a past and everybody has done what they've done. You can't undo it. Like I said, you can't unfuck somebody. But, bitch, you're not about to add me as another fucking notch to your I'm sorry. Right. I've been with people who are sexually fluent. And there's, and I, there's nothing wrong with it. Now I know there's nothing wrong with that. I didn't understand this shit back then. Back then, I'm like, why can you not control well, let me clarify. your se that sexual being? There's inside. nothing wrong with being sexually fluid if you're single. Now, if you're in a relationship, you have no business being sexually fluid because in my opinion, a relationship is something that's monogamous. So you should be right. only having sex with that person. 
So I don't believe in fluidity when it comes to well, of course. being in a relationship. But I mean, if you're single and that's just the kind of person you are, go for it. But make sure you do it in a safe manner, I would say. Right. And like I said, keep in mind that you can't unfuck these people. So have fun, do what you want to do. But I mean, come on now. Give me something to put Think this about in. someday when you want to marry somebody and they're like, well, shh. too much, too fast, too far. I agree. So I don't know, but it's still weird sometimes. Like I cannot lie and say if I ask somebody, you know, when's the last time that you were involved with somebody before but you we had, that when we first before got we had we sex, first had and sex. I was like, uh, do I want to hit this still? That's what I was but you like. Me that after we talked. No, we talked about that before, well, right when we was about to do it, and I'm just like, this girl really just because I asked you and I was like, you know. No, you asked me. You what? asked you well, asked me first. You said don't when Don't act like I said yesterday or something. No, I'm not saying that. But you asked me when was the last time that I was involved with somebody and I told you like six, seven months ago. <laughs> and I said, What about you? And you were like, two months. <laughs> okay. And I'm like I could say last week or yesterday. <laughs> Two weeks ago. Yeah, so I'm like, but still, even all in all, I'm just like, okay. That took me aback because I thought I was about to share something with you that was like, you know. But you still shared it. You know what? You fuck still you. fucked them. Fuck you, girl. Yeah, fuck. Yeah, yes, I did. And yeah, it was enjoyable. I enjoyed it very much. And that's how we did it. And that's how we got here. Don't say that. Your head sounds so slutty. <laughs> And then we said it in unison, and that's why we're here now. And that's why we're here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. So, no, all jokes aside, I mean, I get it, but then, okay, I know this is kind of like switching the, the volume of the conversation, but what's kind of been piquing my interest over the past couple of weeks that I haven't said anything about is the whole R. Kelly ordeal thing that's troubling me even though i don't know the full specifics let me say that before we get into this conversation because i don't want nobody down my back about nothing even though they will be after i say what i got to say you know that's okay because everybody has their opinions everybody can feel how they want to feel about this topic but let me tell you something right now my opinion is my opinion your opinion is your opinion you leave your opinion at the door the same way that i do you know, and that's for anybody watching it. So with this whole R. Kelly ordeal, the only thing that I want to establish first and foremost is that R. Kelly is a pedophile. Yes, he is. He I is, agree with that. He is a sexual predator. Agreed. He should not be around nobody's but let children. Me pause. Let me pause and say that. I feel like he's a predator for this reason. Because let me specify. I feel like everybody has their preference. And you're entitled to like what you like. Right. As long as there's an addendum on it. As long as you're not fucking kids or fucking animals. Yeah, no. I think within reason, anything else you can like what you like. I know some people like weird shit. They gotta say within reason. Like what you like. Do what you do. And I know that there's some people in their preference is younger men or younger women. My mom is married to a much younger guy. That's fine. As long as that person is over 18. Even if you're a 40 year old man and you're like, okay, I want a 22 year old. That's fine. She's grown. She can consent. But these pedophiles, I just, it's not your preference and it's not okay. It's driving me crazy because I just don't understand how people can look at this situation and say it's okay. But the only thing that I'm saying is if you have any type of opinion about this situation, I feel like everybody should be held accountable. Let's not just just blame. Let's not just blame. What I was going to ask you, which is, who's to blame? Everybody's to blame. R. Kelly Kelly is to blame for being a pedophile and for being the guy that is manipulating these kids in this situation. Granted, the kids need to be held responsible because they're, I know... I'm not victim shaming, and never will I. I but agree. you cannot convince me that you a victim if you telling all of these horrid stories 
to this TV network station. You never called the police, you never did an outcry, you never made a police report. When the man leave to go on tour, you still in the house waiting for him to get home. You don't leave. After, okay. after he beat your ass 50, 11 times, you still waiting for him to get home. You never leave, you never go back. And when you leave and then you go back and you realize, you know what? One, I need the money. Two, I need the security. Three, I need the loving. I need the protection. I need that feeling of a father figure or a man that quote unquote loves me and you go back. How can we feel sad for you? How can we feel bad for you? How can we genuinely feel like your life is in danger and you never leave? Agree I don't agree with what? I don't agree with what you're saying because I feel like a victim is a victim at the end of the day. And I don't feel like a victim should have to hold any liability or any blame for being a victim. You shouldn't blame them for being a victim because When did I ever blame them for being blaming, a victim? You're blaming them because you're like, oh they they could have left or they should have left or they You should don't have think left. they could have left? They could have, but that's just like a woman that gets her ass beat by her husband every day. She can leave. That nigga goes to work or he does whatever. But she doesn't. That still doesn't make her any less of a victim. But this is the difference, my love. The difference is they're not accusing her husband of being a pedophile. Who is, wait a minute. I'm talking about the kids. I'm, ta about? I'm talking about, you just said a woman who leaves her husband. Yeah. They're not accusing her husband of being a pedophile. We are talking about children. We are talking about kids that sought after this man. This man ain't going looking for these kids. Sometimes he did. That sought after this man. I don't agree. I don't think they sought now after Now you don't agree. Initially you did agree, and now you don't agree. I don't agree. Okay, what do you disagree? What are you disagreeing with all of a sudden? That I don't. Just because they could have left and they didn't leave doesn't make them any less of a victim, or doesn't make them liable for what happened to them. Nobody people. said that. I said, how can we take you serious as a victim? That's that's still the same thing. No, You're it's questioning not. Questioning their credibility. No, it's that's not. victim shaming. I'm not victim shaming. See, this this is what I don't like. Don't take my opinion and something that you feel like is already written stone and mash those two together because I'm just saying everybody needs to be held accountable. You cannot have, if there was a situation where the kids did not want to be involved and the parents were pushing them to be involved with and this I think man. That's what it was. So these women didn't have no feelings for him. These women were not madly in love with this man. They were set up by their parents with R. Kelly. That's the whole problem that I have with R. Kelly is the fact that you are going through the process of this with kids because you know that mentally and emotionally they have not grown to the point of where they can honestly and truly make their own decisions. They haven't matured. They but when you have parents mature. that are right there by their side, it's also pushing them in that direction to do shit that they have absolutely no business doing. You develop a stigma. You begin to feel like what you are going through is okay because other people approve. That is the problem that I have with the parents. The problem that I have with the kids at that point is ain't no fucking way my mama is letting my 16 year old ass go to an R. Kelly concert. Go well, backstage to an R. Kelly concert. The fault of the parents. I'm stick. I should not be at no R. Kelly concert at 16. But Period. Think about, think about the shit that your mama didn't let you do when you were 16 and the shit that you snuck and did. So it's in a kid's nature to want to do what they not supposed to be fucking doing. And that's the fact of the matter. But, but that, doesn't, make, that, that doesn't put them at fault. So answer me this question. What is the difference between Bill Cosby and R. Kelly? Why is R. Kelly not because being charged with Cosby, anything and why is Bill in jail? I agree. I if it's the same, agree. I mean, I don't know. It's not the same I don't thing know the because specifics of neither one of the cases. So I'm asking. Because Bill Cosby had sex Come with. Let's get started. Okay, Bill Cosby had sex with grown women. Or Kelly had sex with underage children. Mm. So I feel like that's the only difference. But a rapist is a rapist is a rapist. But so I don't feel like. With, is it I because like, drugs came into play? I feel like this. I feel like. Bill Cosby raped those women, or may not have raped those women. I don't know. That's a whole other subject for another day. But according to what put him in jail, he raped those women. But I don't think R. Kelly raped these women. He didn't have to force them. And that's the problem that I'm. But that's still. That's the. Pro that's how is that? Are you about to say that's victim shaming? 
I wasn't about to say Like, that. if you are consenting to so having sex with wrong. Them, the problem is, these are kids. They're fucking kids. Leave the kids alone. You can find a woman with a way better body than them, with a way better mind than them, and probably got their own and got their shit. But kids are just off limits. Regardless, let's not even get into the logistics of bodies, because I know... 16 year olds with way more, you know, but that's why he's sick. So, that's why he's sick because you are sitting there, even after you find out how old the child is, it's off you don't have no type of remorse. Oh my god, I feel bad for thinking it. Right. You yeah. like that shit and you like, one, uh, come on, come on. You got friends? Yeah, but. Like, that's sick. That, that's just sick. But I like, like I said, I do have to agree with you to a certain extent because he didn't force these girls to do anything they didn't want to do. So we don't need that. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was gonna say he didn't. We didn't force them. He didn't force them to do anything they didn't want to do. He didn't drug them and break them or break them kicking and screaming. They willingly had sex with him, but that doesn't make it any better because no, he's not okay. supposed to be having sex with these underage girls. No, because not. technically they're not old enough to do that. They got white They got white onions in here. And they got green onions in I know, and celery. Take us some time. Work smarter, not harder. I only cut up with what you know. That's green onions in there. That's what I'm telling you. That's bell peppers. Those are green onions. There's a difference. Bell peppers in there too. Yellow onions. I know there's bell peppers in there, but there's celery, there's green onions. I'm telling you, that is already in there. That's the only thing I'm telling you. Well, I cut up some more. Any more questions? About the NBA young boy in you. Girl, don't make a play with me. But no, like, so just, let's get down to the meat and the bones of it. He's a fucking creep. He's disgusting. We got to get him the hell up out of here. But anything other than everybody need to take their part, period. Everybody take their blame. Don't get on national TV. When you could have filed a police reporter, you could, yeah, you were afraid, but you weren't too afraid to go on a public platform in front of the whole world and say this stuff, like that type of stuff. It's cheesy to me. It's cheesy to me. Like, don't do that. I agree. I agree with that. I, I do agree with that, that that shit is cheesy and tasteless because mm -hmm. you didn't ask for help. Yes, we do. Look at the thing. You didn't ask for help back then, but now you want to cry out and say it was so terrible and I was so afraid. Apparently, you weren't too afraid and it wasn't too terrible because you waited how many years till you were grown ass woman to get on TV and capitalize off of it? So, in that aspect, I don't know. My Maybe only thing good. is I don't like when people, two things, on both sides of the spectrum, I don't like when people, one, use a specific thing to push an agenda. Number two, I don't like when people use a certain thing to condemn somebody else's. Like, just, I don't like it. Right. So don't be that person to, what you putting in there? That's for my role. Your role is not going to be be done till another hour. Cut that damn oven off. Girl, fuck you. Nick, you ever heard of preheating? You going to preheat that shit for an hour for some rolls that's going to be in there for four minutes? Niggas don't believe in preheating the oven, do they? The oven has to get to temperature, and then the shit would cook evenly like it's supposed to if you would bring the oven to temperature instead of turning the shit on and sticking the bread in there. She's talking about preheating the oven an hour for these damn rolls. Fuck Dinner, fuck? yeast, rolls, ready in five to ten minutes. So, it takes five to ten minutes. Given that, what's the first? Preheat oven to what, three. What did it say? Fifty. Preheat. Heat in preheated oven for five to ten minutes. That's given that you preheat the oven. If you don't preheat the oven, it turns into fifteen. Preheat the oven for an hour. What you about preheating the stove? You got all of this shit on here and ain't never even cut it on. You want to kiss my ass? Stupid, man. Fuck. Golly. You ain't had all the stuff in there. That's all that goes in there right now. Fuck off. The right. garlic go in there now? No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Don't put that in there. Get your wrong ass away from me. <laughs> Loud and fucking wrong. <laughs> and ugly. Why you treat me like that? You just let this shit go all the way that way. Anyway, we just gonna, we gonna leave that where it's at because everybody just needs to take responsibility for what they did and what they didn't do. 
and let that shit be. You move on with your life. Get clarity some other kind of way instead of bringing that shit up in front of all of these people. Like, why do people feel like social media or media period is going to feel some type of empty wedge that you've been had in your butt for all of these years? I agree. Like, what?